Good morning everyone, welcome to The Last Drop, I am Chris. Today we are talking about Remy Martin, uh, VSOP, uh, Cognac, uh, I picked it up quite cheap on Amazon. Um, let's taste it. Hi. Right. So Remy Martin VSOP Cognac. It was created in 1927 by a guy called Andre Renu. He was the cellar master there. And 11 years later it got its protected status as a cognac stroke, whatever it is. Um, and got the title of Fine Champagne Cognac. Uh, what that means is that the grapes used uh, to create the Eau de Vie, um, or the wine that they use to produce uh, the, or distill the cognac, um, have to be grown in Grand Champagne and Petite Champagne, and I think the Grand Champagne has to be over 50% of what they put in. Uh, so with all that together, um, yeah, they can then be called a fine Champagne Cognac. Um, I'll link down below there uh, to a uh, Cognac Expert blog. They have got a really good thing about all the different regions uh, called Cruise, um, which you may have seen or not seen um, round about. Uh, so with that, let's head back to the kitchen and see the nose. Welcome to the kitchen. Let's get a nose in. Got a special glass, I don't know if you can see that. The last drop. Thank you to my lovely wife, Valentine's Day. Right, nose, you get the lovely sort of raisiny notes as per usual, dark fruits. Maybe get some more vanilla in this one. Is there some floral notes? Might be some floral notes in there. Or it could be these flowers. Anyway, uh, according to some of the notes, uh, you should pick up vanilla, ripe apricot, baked apple, and floral notes. Maybe I am getting that baked apple. Sort of, yeah. You know, I don't know, um, back in the UK, uh, definitely when I was younger, I used to get a big old Bramley apple, Granny Spot, yeah, Bramley apple, core out the middle with raisins and sh brown sugar in the middle and then baked in the oven for an hour or two. Um, I don't think I ever really liked them, but it's sort of that sort of smell bring back that memory mm. very nice let's head back outside right so in 2012 the cognac changed apparently um, not sure whether this was for the better or not as people seem to be suggesting otherwise um, so basically they changed it to a mature cask finish and um, what they've done with that is put it into a barrel that has been used for about 20 years um, to get that mature finish. I also believe that the cognac has been coloured and some sort of other flavourings added. Um, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't really researched too much in there, but you're more than welcome. Um, so yeah, that becomes a mature cask finish. Um, in addition to being um, aged in limousine oak barrels, um, which has to be part of the fine champagne um, agreement or the protected status sort of thing. Um, so with that, let's head back to the kitchen and you can get me tasting it. Welcome back. Time for tasting.
yeah, nice, smooth, very smooth. A ripe fruit sort of flavour. Maybe some ripe apples in there. Um, definitely maybe some, yeah, ripe soft fruit. A bit more. Yeah, nice and smooth. Bit of a bit of alcohol kick there. Bit of a spirity taste. Um, I did have quite a spicy um, Chinese um, stir fry for dinner. Um, a bit too, quite a bit of chili in that, so I don't know whether that's lingering on my palate from earlier. It was a good hour ago, and I've had a good. Cut few glasses of water since then. Yeah, nice taste. And then apparently you're supposed to be able to taste licorice as well. Uh, if you watched other videos of mine, uh, you'll get that I don't like licorice too much. Um, so usually when you don't like something, you can pick it out of anything. Uh, I can pick a banana out of a smoothie. Uh, I hate bananas. I hate bananas. Not sure I'm getting the licorice though. But yeah. Nice taste. Uh, not as nice as I've had. But a good, a good taste. Let's go back outside. Welcome back to outside. So, the Remy Martin VSOP, there's no VS, um, so there's no very special cognac from Remy Martin, so this VSOP from Remy Martin is the baseline that they do, um, probably explains why it's so cheap. Uh, I've seen in other reviews that it is maybe quite young cognac in there, uh, I believe some of the other um, distillers, but relatively older cognacs in their VSOPs just to get their flavour profile right um, but this VSOP from Remy Martin um, does not apparently um, but I still find it quite nice um, it's smooth uh, I think yeah the addition of colour and maybe flavouring is slightly disappointing um, but Again, it was quite a reasonable price, and I quite enjoyed it. The taste is nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's as distinct as Martel or uh, Corvassier or Frappin. Frappin has been my favourite so far, but then I, I like that orange note. Um, but yeah, Remy Martin VSOP, very nice indeed. Um, I should just go and check it out. Um, so yeah, hit that subscribe button. Uh, down there, I think. There, 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 there. I don't know which one it is. Give us a thumbs up, that'd be great. And that was the last drop. Wow, what happened to this bench? I'm going to sit down on some part of it. What are you doing there, Liam? You burning oil in the car?